Hi, it's Mark Dodd from Mark Dodd Photography. Um, tonight I was just going to go over a new program that I found. It's been around for quite some time. It's just I've just recently found it. It's called Capture One, and they're up to version 12. Um, what I was going to show you tonight, since I'm a Fuji film camera user, I use the X-T2. Um, this one thing actually appealed to me. That's what got me looking at the program in the first place, is that they're offering a version of their program for free for Fujifilm and for Sony users. It's called Capture One Express for Fujifilm or Capture One Express for Sony. It's a free photo editor um, that you can download and uh, use for either your uh, Fujifilm or Sony cameras. Uh, the one thing that I intrigued me a lot and why I started looking at this was it actually has the Fujifilm simulations uh, built into the application. So what you want to do is I'll provide links to the bottom of this and just for um, disclosures I am now an affiliate of Capture One uh, so I am affiliated with them mainly because I am um, really like the look of this software so I've actually just bought a copy of it myself uh, yesterday but uh, so We'll just talk about the free version and then I'll uh, talk about uh, the, the pro version and how you can get that at a discount right now. So go ahead and download the free trial. Once it's downloaded, you'll open up the uh, disk image. It's also, it's available for both Mac and Windows. Um, you'll drag it into your applications and then you will go ahead and open up the application. What you're actually downloading is the full version of Capture One. Um, when you first open it up here, you see um, the different versions that you can choose. Obviously, these pro versions are the ones that you pay for. But to get to the Express, we go down here and choose more options. And then you can choose either the Express for Fujifilm or the Express for Sony. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Express for Fujifilm. It goes ahead and opens up the program. And let me see if I can get that one window. Yep, I was waiting for this to pop up. You do need to activate it um, as an Express user. So we'll go ahead and click Activate. That will send you over to the Capture One website. Um, I've already logged in. Um, but if you don't have an account, you'll need to create an account and then actually activate the software that way. So I already have my account here. So we'll just close that for now. Let me see if I can uh, go find some images real quick that we can bring into the software. So we'll just go ahead and click the big import images button. And obviously it's got all, all the uh, sale stuff listed here, but we'll just close that in a moment. I'll take you back there in a, in a bit. So let's find a folder to um, import. Down here, easy store. Let me see. I'm going to choose and actually, let me try my uh, uh, New Zealand files here. Now, those are not my Fuji files, so let me find some others. Do, do, do. We'll go to June 2nd because I took some pictures that day. So these are the IR uh, Fuji RAW files plus JPEG. So we'll go ahead and import those in a second. Sorry. So it shows me my imports. Taking some pictures of uh, Sykesville's downtown buildings for the owner of these buildings. So we'll go ahead and import current. We got all these options. I haven't set any of these yet because it's just the first time I've actually opened the program. You can do your metadata. You can change your file names. You can actually do some adjustments on the uh, uh, import if you want to. I want to turn that off because I don't want to do anything to these just yet. And we'll leave them where they are. So this imports them into the um, catalog. Gives you a status of how many it's importing. Now it's generating the previews. Let just set that up there out of the way for the moment while we're doing this. Um, so yeah, the, you can see what's new here with uh, Capture One tutorials, their webinars, and their support. But I'll just close.
was this and get it out of the way for the moment. Remember, this is still the express version, so you've got your um, similar to Lightroom, you've got your um, panel down here where you can view them. You can change how you want the top panel to, to view, I believe. Let me change it to. Oh, that actually changes just the bottom panel, how we've got it listed. It's a little bit smaller, that's larger size. So we'll click on this guy here, for example. But you've pretty much got uh, all your options that you want. Um, just changing the brightness, saturation. The one thing about the Express version is, from watching a webinar that they did earlier on, um, is it is a raw editor, and you're editing the uh, entire image. Um, you cannot do the local adjustments with the Express version. But you can edit JPEGs and RAWs and do options for the entire image. I'm just playing with these for now, just to give you an idea. I have to learn this program. It, it's um, so far from what I've seen, it almost has all the options that you can ever want. Um, where everything is yet, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll do that in another video. But I just wanted to show you this is the Express version. If you're editing an entire photo uh, and not needing to do local adjustments, this is going to be a perfect free version for you. I'll let that uh, we'll fin let those continue to generate previews. I'm just going to move this off the screen for the moment, but we'll come back here to the to the Capture One site and we will go down to actually buy just so you can see what the current promotion is for Capture One. They offer it with a bunch of different styles, which they call them styles. Lightroom calls them some presets. I think Skyloom calls them looks. Everybody's got their own thing, but it's, it's an, an option that you can add on. So you've got the different prices here, but this is the one that uh, I just purchased. I just got the Capture One Pro for Fujifilm. It is currently 50% off. I have not been told that they're going to end this anytime soon, but they have the option to end it at any time. Um, again, if you've got a Fuji camera or a Sony camera, you can get the um, Capture One Pros at a 50% off discount right now. Let's actually go to the full store. Just so you can see everything. This is the list price for the full version of Capture One Pro that does all cameras, uh, Nikon, Canons, every other manufacturer out there. But then you got the ones for um, Fujifilm that are currently 50% off, as well as Sony's 50% off. So if you, um, I would go go download this Express version, play with it, um, see if you like it. Uh, make sure you do activate it though. Um, because it, uh, unless you activate it, they could possibly disable the free version at some point um, to not let you activate it as a free version. So I, I do that right away and activate it as, a, as the free version. From what I've been told, if you decided you wanted to go with, say, this monthly plan option, which they do offer for the Sony and, well, pretty much all of them, really, uh, or the Fujifilm. So you pay for a couple months for the pro version and you decide you want to go back to the express version. As long as you've activated the express version, when your subscription runs out, it will default back to the express free version for you. But uh, that's just a quick look for now. I am going to start teaching myself this program and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you a few more options about Capture One products in the near future. So thank you very much. We'll talk to you later. Bye.